While high school football games are back on in Washington and soon in Oregon, not all schools are getting the same opportunities to return to play. Things will look different at Park Rose High as only seven on seven football will be offered. A senior leader and head coach shared their disappointment with Fox 12's Nick Krupke. For all the trouble that we kind of went through, for it to just fall apart at the end is very upsetting. Oregon Duck alum Brian Jackson's first game as head coach at Park Rose High will have to wait a little bit longer. We are just the army from 300. Like, you should see it, man. You should see it. Coach Jackson had to break the news to his army of young men after Friday's practice. Last night, couldn't sleep, couldn't think, couldn't do anything because I'm just like, man, these boys don't want to do nothing but play football. To not get the opportunity to see him show what he's got has me torn up about it. The Park Rose School District could not opt into 11-man full contact football based on limited in-person instruction not yet put into place. Therefore, not meeting state requirements to return to play. I feel like we've had several chances to either figure it out or figure out when we're going to do it. Instead, Park Rose will offer seven on seven and lineman challenges. Hey, it doesn't really make sense. Like. Seven on seven, you're still out there with dudes. You're still um, getting in people's personal spaces. You're still competing. Like, why can't we have the linemen out there too, like working with them? Like, we're all like one team. Why just have the skill players um, go out there and play? Like, when we can have everyone play. 5A Northwest Oregon Conference Lineman of the Year, Park Rose senior Ty Delgado. You know, ever since we went into lockdown and we were like quarantined and out of school, all I really thought about is football, like every single day. This kid has dreams to play football. I did everything in my power to make sure that this kid gets a senior season and they snatched it away from it. Delgado and the Park Rose class of 2021 were part of Bronco history two years ago now. This is the first playoff win in the history of this school, fellas. Winning the program's first ever playoff game and advancing to the 5A quarterfinals with the guidance and leadership of Coach Jackson and Keenan Lowe. And it was like a big um, personal developmental point in my life is uh, to not be afraid to be great. Park Rose joins schools like Gresham, Barlow, David Douglas, Centennial, and Reynolds, who have opted out as the first week of a five-game schedule is set to begin elsewhere in Oregon next Friday night. We'll never get this time of our lives back in. It's a lifestyle. You know, it's more than just like, I want to go out there and go hit some people. I know a lot of people have like um, family situations that they're struggling in and like football is like a huge outlet for kids. Like I've, I've seen it, I've been around it. Like I've been one of those kids myself. Delgado says he will take advantage of the virtual lineman challenges. And whatever helps my guys. With our high school spotlight from Park Rose, Nick Krupke, Fox 12 Oregon.